Welcome to this training video on submitting a bid in the Integrated Contractors Exchange, or ICX. ICX is a powerful platform designed to streamline the bidding process, making it both efficient and accessible for contractors. Let's walk through the process step by step. Start by opening your browser and navigating to the ICX website. Enter your username and password, then click Login. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the ICX dashboard. Next, go to the menu and select Bidding, located below the Proposal Request option. A dropdown will appear, showing a list of all the projects for which you have successfully requested proposals. Find the project you're looking for. Below the project name, you'll see important details such as the control number, the county where the project will be performed, the highway or area, a brief description, the project number, the district where the project will be let, the engineering estimate, the bid date and time displayed in central time. You'll notice that some lines appear in red. These indicate incomplete requirements that must be addressed before proceeding. Red lines represent sections requiring action, such as entering data or confirming details. Before you can submit a bid, all red lines must turn blue, indicating that all requirements are complete. The order in which you complete these tasks doesn't matter, but any remaining red lines will prevent you from submitting the bid. To begin, add bid guarantee information. Select your surety type, in this case, surety 2000, and enter your bond number. Then, click the Save Bond Information button. If the bond number is correct, the bond status will change to saved. Next, complete the certifications. Answer the required questions, such as confirming that you won't provide or receive bids from other contractors. On the child support statement, select I acknowledge, understand, and accept these conditions. Once all certifications are completed, this section will turn blue. Now enter the bid prices for each category of items. For categories with multiple items, press Enter after each entry. For single item categories, click anywhere in the white area to save your entry. As you complete each category, it will turn from red to blue. Repeat this process for all categories. If your bid contains alternate items and you want to enter costs for them, Click the caret in front of the group to reveal the additional alternate items. Click on the category and enter all associated costs completely. Once all categories have been completed, the alternate items section will turn blue. Once all items on the left navigation menu are blue, return to the main project page by clicking the CSJ number at the top of the list. Here, you can review your bid details, including the total amount and the engineering estimate. When you're satisfied with the information, click Submit Bid. Confirm your submission when prompted. After submitting, you'll receive a confirmation number, along with the date and time of submission, down to the second. This serves as proof that your bid was successfully submitted. If you do not receive a confirmation number, please check your internet connection and ensure all required fields are completed. Contact the support team for further assistance if the issue persists. And that concludes this tutorial on submitting a bid in ICX. If you have any questions, please contact our support team. Thank you for watching.